Today we're going to do a delicious Christmas gammon joint. We use the apple wood chunks on the 57 smoker. I've already topped the chimney starter up by three quarters and that's going to give a nice even cook and I'm using the Weber briquettes which is really important because it gives a real intense heat. Um, and it's going to cook at about 200, 220. That's about 95 to 105 degrees Celsius. Yeah, absolutely fine. Um, I've put the fire lighters in, so all I've got to do is simply light the fire lighters. This is very easy, these Weber fire lighters. Simply put that in, 15 to 20 minutes, and we're ready to cook. So we've got our gammon, and normally these days when you get them from your butcher, they're wet cured. And what you'd normally have to do is put them in a pot and boil them up to draw a lot of that saltiness out of the meat. Now, the problem with that is it means it's cooked it and it means that the smoke that we want to do won't get into the meat as effectively. So the brilliant Weber chefs have got a fantastic way around that. We took the gammon out of its packet last night, put it in a pot and completely covered it in milk. And the milk draws a lot of that saltiness out. And this morning, all we did was get rid of the milk, patted it dry and left it in the fridge. And all I've done now is scored it, and put some cloves in, and we're now ready to smoke. Andrew, it's been about 15 minutes now, and you can see it's glowing nicely. Now, just a little tip here. I've put unlit um, briquettes on the outside. I'm gonna pour those lit ones in the middle there, and that's slowly gonna allow it to go out, and we'll extend the cooking time. It'd be absolutely brilliant. And always wear, always wear these gloves, um, because it's really important. Just gently tip them in. Because you know you can get a little spark off of this, but you can see it's such a great bit of kit, the chimney star, isn't oh, it? It's fantastic, absolutely fantastic product. I see you've also got the apple wood already on the outer briquettes, ones yeah. that aren't lit, and this one's going to go onto the lit one to get the smoke going straight yeah. away. Now I'm just going to place this on top. I've already put the water into the water container is located here. And what that's going to do, of course, is that will give us a lovely kind of even regulation of temperature inside and a nice moist kind of atmosphere. Yeah, and you see I put the tin foil in there and that's just to make it a nice easy way of cleaning it afterwards. Perfect, so um, all we need to do now is get the top grate on, don't we? Yep, which is here. And then I'll get the gammon. So here we go. Where we go. Job done. So we'll leave this now for maybe an hour, an hour and a half. Yeah. And we're not going to do anything with it. No, nope. just leave it, because while you're looking, you're not cooking. So the gammon's on. Let's now make a glaze for when the smoking's finished a bit later on. And I've got the perfect pan. This is this new Weber pan. Handle comes off. We can just put it on any of the barbecues here. And away you go, Andrew. Brilliant, love it. Okay, so the ingredients for this, we've got uh, some molasses. This is Billington's Natural Unrefined Cane Sugar. 200 grams of that, just goes straight in. 60 grams of Dijon mustard. Get that in there as well. I love a bit of Dijon. Yeah. And then I've got a couple of spices as well. What we've got here, we've got half a teaspoon of ground cinnamon, half a teaspoon of ground nutmeg, and half a teaspoon of allspice. And all we need to do now, Give that a little, oh no, I've forgotten one thing. To complement the apple say, wood. I was, uh, I was rather hoping that we could have some of that later on. Little bit of Calvados. Let's have a good glug of that, shall we? There oh, we yeah, go. That. Get that Thank in there. Man. Mix this round and we'll heat this up on one of the barbecues. Yeah. Uh, and in about an hour and a half, when the smoking's finished, we'll start putting our first glaze on. Yeah, and all we need to do is leave that jam in for about an hour and a half and then we'll come back and have a look at it. So it's been an hour and a half. We finished the smoking process. Time to get the first glaze on. And it's in the perfect smoking zone. Okay. Wow, look at that. It's yeah, brilliant, isn't it? Look at the colour. You can really see that that's taken in all that smoke, and the smell is amazing, isn't yeah. it? Um, now, what about this? This is brilliant. We put the saucepan with our glaze in. I told you it's the perfect product. It's it? just fantastic, isn't it? Now, let's get this on. And that's let's not. really going to add the colour. Now, the, yeah, this will give us a lovely deep colour as well. We're going all over those clothes. Now, let's remind everyone of what we've got here. Just get this on, don't worry about it too much. So, in this glaze, we have that raw, unrefined molasses sugar, just beautiful. We've also got the Calvados in there. We've got the cinnamon. We've got the nutmeg in there as well. And also that allspice. I mean, the smells already. Oh, it's just gorgeous. lovely, isn't it? Absolutely gorgeous. So, what will we do? We'll do maybe two or three glazes. Yep. So maybe one, 
now and then one in an hour's time and then we'll do one final glaze an hour after that. And I can't wait to see what this is like when it comes out. I mean, already, look at that. And what do you think, another couple of hours? Yeah, I reckon another couple of hours on this. We'll get a temperature probe in there a bit later on. Yeah. Wow, there we go. Okay. We'll come back in an hour. Russell, look at that. Fantastic, Andrew. And it smells so gorgeous, doesn't it? Is it is that apple wood smoke and the yeah. glaze. And how yeah. long has that been on there? It's been on there about six hours, and that's why you use the smoker. Low and slow. Yeah. And we've just checked, about 50% of the charcoal still left. That's amazing. That's why you get good quality briquettes, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, without a shadow of doubt. Okay, now internal temperature, FSA guidelines, anything above 63 for this. Well, I'm at 69, 70, still climbing, so we know we're absolutely fine, okay. Um, before I use this again, I'll give that a clean with an antibacterial wipe, as always. Shall we carve? Oh, definitely. Okay, got this gorgeous carving set again from Flint and Flame. Let's go, straight in. Oh, look at that, Andrew, isn't it? That is so tender. Look at that, that is just falling off. Unbelievable. Look at that. Now this will do a lot of people, won't it? Oh yeah. And what you but can the what, smell. It's gorgeous, isn't it? Now let's get a few layers on here. Now you can see already there's like a, a kind of orange ring there. Now that is where the smoke has been penetrating that meat. Okay, and then there's the glaze, of course. We had that molasses sugar, the raw, unrefined molasses sugar. We had Dijon mustard. We had Calvados to complement the apple wood yeah. smoke. We had uh, cinnamon. We had uh, nutmeg, and we had allspice as well. Yeah. Do you know what? I can't wait any longer. Shall we just uh, let's try it. dig into this? In fact, let's use our lovely Weber yeah. knives and forks. about the nice new plates? They're gorgeous, aren't they? Okay, I'm going to make sure I take some with the with that skin on as well. There we go. Look at that lovely colour. Here we go. Mm. Wow. wow. The viewers out there could actually be here and taste that because that is absolutely to die for. Andrew, absolutely fantastic once again. Fantastic product. And see you again. <laughs>